Hello my dear students today we are going to learn mainly about uh, current electricity mainly uh, the uh, the movement of uh, electric current how it works on uh, and also we are going to learn the concept of resistivity before moving on to this part i would like to put uh, a small revision in which we have learned what is potential difference what is a potential what is a potential difference a potential difference of a cell and how a free electrons movement reduces electricity current flowing through a wire how the potential difference orient this free electrons with respect to the potential applied and making the current electricity dear students we have learned about resistance in the previous class today we are going to discuss about resistivity in order to understand resistivity understanding resistance is very much important so what is resistivity resistivity is nothing but resistance per unit length the resistance of a substance per unit length if it is a if it is a, if it is a conductor then we can say that at a given temperature the resistance resistance of a conductor depends upon the length of the conductor area of cross section of conductor and material used by the conductor or for making the conductor here we can say that ki resistance is directly proportional to length resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section since it is depending upon length how it is depending directly depending how it is depending on area of cross section inversely depending that is 1 upon a that is area of cross section when we combine these two equation we will get this equation that is resistance is directly proportional to l and inversely proportional to a in order to remove this proportionality sign we can use a uh, constant this is constant of proportionality it is a greek letter we call it as rho the rho is nothing but resistivity of the material the unit of resistivity in si unit is ohm meter resistivity is a specific property of a material and different metals have different resistivity here the resistivity of copper is given as 17 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter whereas here in diamond it is given by 162 into 10 raised to 13 into 162 into 10 raised to 18 ohm meter here you will notice copper has a very less resistivity compared to diamond since the copper having very less resistivity we can say this copper is a conductor since it is having very low resistivity it can conduct electricity that's why we use copper in our wirings to conduct electricity whereas diamond has a very having very high, huge resistivity that is very high resistivity the resistance is very much high that's why diamond we can say it as a insulator so copper is a conductor and diamond as a insulator with respect to this example and resistivity is nothing but resistance per unit length so this equation is very much important you have to learn this next we are discussing about electric circuit here we have given a electric circuit diagram in which we will be able to see certain important components i would like to uh keep your attention over here this line represent a conducting circuit a conducting wire where the electricity is provided that is the potential difference is provided by the provided by the electric cell in uh, while uh, let us trace the circuit while you are going from this far we will get one instrument known as ammeter connected in series what does the ammeter do ammeter always measures the current measures the current in the circuit and here we have got as we go there is a resistance a certain resistance is provided in order to control the current in, so for example there is a large current flowing through a circuit if you want to reduce the current we can introduce a resistance so that the current will be reduced and across the resistance in a parallel way voltmeter is attached voltmeter is conducted that voltmeter is nothing but it is a device to measure the potential difference in the circuit so voltmeter will be always connected in parallel while ammeter which measures the current will always connect in series so the continuous path of electric 
or electric current through a conducting wire connected in two ends with respect to the cell we can call it as a electric circuit a circuit is actually has shown in the figure we can introduce anything like for example we can put a bulb over here we can put a, a horn over here anything whatever instrument we want to give power we can conduct uh, we can uh, connect it in between these circuit making that instrument to work am i clear so these symbols are very much important which shows a uh, different type of uh, electric components so here we are moving on to the next part of the chapter that is symbols and components this table is very much important you to learn you need to understand this table and you need to learn it as it is so let us start with the first component the first component is electric cell which is having a symbol like this what is the use the use is to apply potential difference between end, end of the conductor what is a battery to more, more than two cells or more than one cell connected together we can call it as a battery same the use is same it provides more potential difference that's it so a tap key when it is open this is open tap key that means there is no current flowing when it is closed then the current will be flowing through it this is a conducting wire symbol will be this and use will be to connect the different components cross wires this is a symbol that one should not touch just crossing it we are not touching it that's why the symbol is like that light bulb can be given by the symbol to light the line this is this is actually very much important the resistance you will be using this throughout your if you are taking science ahead you will be using the symbol a lot a resistance the resistance is to control the flow of electric current this is variable resistance the resistance which can change uh, in our home we can say this is a resistance uh, like it is it does a similar work of a regulator in a fan to control the speed of the fan if you can control the speed of the fan by introducing a resistance to it if you introduce more resistance that means the fan goes slow that is uh, at a if you can say that example if it is your fan regulator is at 1 you are introducing more resistance making less current flow that's why the fan goes slow if you putting at 5 there is less resistance introduced therefore the fan goes very fast to so change the resistance as required there by controlling the current we can change it this is fixed once you introduce there we cannot change the resistance here the symbol of ammeter which measures the current here the symbol of voltmeter which measures the potential difference i hope you understand this table it is very much important to learn the symbol as well as the uses of these electrical components used in electric circuit next part we are dealing with conductors and insulators the substance which have very low resistance are called conductors they will conduct the current the current flow will be very much easy in this material here we have given the example of silver gold copper steel and even sea water why sea water there is lot of ions present in that free ions if it is free ions it will definitely conduct electricity now next one is insulator insulator is substance which is having very high resistance examples are rubber glass oil diamond and dry wood we have already learned this in the previous uh, part of this video through which the current uh, this uh, insulator the where the current flow will be very much uh, it is not very easy to uh, pass current through these insulators so we can say that almost no current can flow through these insulators conductors is a material which can easily pass current insulators are the metals which cannot pass the current hope you understand this part even it is a small part it is much, very much important the next time we will uh, next time i will uh, come with uh, the next um, very important part of this chapter that is resistivity resistance in series and parallel so i request you all of you to go through both the videos and come prepared for the next video thank you so much take care